Thank you so, so, so much. Um, I think I told you this before, you're the first group um, to complete this project for me. This is a positive, uh, I think a positive pilot. result of COVID. Um, I had time to think about it and plan this project and do the training for um, Anita's staff and then do the training for yourself. So I appreciate uh, both Anita uh, and Angie to, you know, organize all of this together. Um, I have a few things to thank you for the wonderful work you've done. Um, the books, uh, I, I, you've set the bar up here. So for any groups that do this after you, you've really, <laughs> you've set the bar very high. Um, the kids who are gonna use these books, um, they don't even realize how how good they have it um, because they're just they're just such high quality and they're going to learn so much from them so I think you should really be proud of yourselves and be happy to finish off the school year with this this lo this lovely positive project and again you're the first to do this um, to do this project so uh, hopefully we'll get other schools and be able to maybe show picture examples of what you've done but I just want to say um, there isn't enough um, there aren't enough materials for the children in schools like St. Teresa's and there's schools all around the country uh, who just don't have enough uh, literacy materials and this is just fabulous and I think I'm not sure but I'm assuming you had fun doing it because <laughs> it was it was I saw you you know over zoom and you know you were showing off your work and uh, I think that you had a bit of fun and a bit of crack with it and you could share ideas with each other so I think hopefully um, you enjoyed it as well as really creating something nice for the students here at St. Teresa's. So We're honoured and delighted to have the Arts Galwara ladies here to present us with sensory books that they've made. This project started with Deirdre Leach from Anne Sullivan Foundation who gave us a course on sensory needs of children with different complex needs and she decided to involve the transition year students because of Covid thinking that they wouldn't have um, a lot of projects to invite them to make books for us so she met with them and gave them a course on the importance of what children with hearing needs or visual needs or complex needs require and they went with their teacher Angie and they made us all these beautiful books that you see here today these type of books are so important for our children because they depend on lots of their senses so vision hearing barracks sensory all combined to give them such a wealth of learning um, opportunities. The children in our school um, don't really have access to the normal type of books that other children would have. So this gives them a wealth of choice to go to the library and just pick an ordinary book. It really has no meaning for them. But to have books like this where they can feel, touch and even smell and some of them have sound built into them is just such a joy for us to have and we're so grateful to Art School Warrior Girls for making these books for us.